Okay, I'm going to show you how to work with multiple images in Photoshop CS5. I use Lightroom. I do not use Bridge, so I'm going to start out in Lightroom. Um, I'm going to press Control Command, excuse me, Command A, to select all these images that I want to move into Photoshop, and then I'm going to press Command E, which is my external editing device shortcut, and you'll notice Photoshop automatically opens. and all those images are going to pop up automatically from Lightroom. Okay, now as they open up, um, let me show you this really neat way to arrange your documents. You go up to this little tile area up here. It says Arrange Documents. You can go through and um, play around with this, see how it arranges multiple images. side by side. So you see how uh, there's different ways you can arrange your documents according to your own workflow. Okay. Um, now a really neat way to move through all these images when you have several images is this uh, really great shortcut. It is control tab, okay? So I'm going to press control tab and you'll notice that it's toggling through all my images that I just pulled in from Lightroom. And that way I can see them all pretty quickly and easily and work with the one that I want to work with. All right. Now, um, I want, let's say I want to consolidate these images according to, uh, let's say who's in them. So I've got girls and I've got guys. Well, what I can do is I can actually, um, first off, I can actually choose one of these uh, document arrangements that pulls them out into individual tiles. And what I can do is I can pull one of the images and drag it over to another image that, let's say, has a girl on it, girls. And um, that blue outline indicates that you can drop it in. And let me do just the other one, and I'll show you how it works. So, as I extend this window, you see that all three of those images are now in that window and arranged in um, an organized way. So, I can do the same thing with the guys. And I now have two different organized windows according to girls and guys. Well, let's say I want to um, maybe put that image right beside this image. Um, what I can actually do is I can actually drag the layer from this image of this girl over and put it on top of the image of this little boy and what's going to happen is it's actually going to add that layer as you saw over there and you can see right here there's that image so um, I'm going to press F so it won't be so cluttered for full screen and what I can actually do is move that image right beside this other one out here on the document now I can't see the image right so what I have to do is go to image and reveal all and what it's going to do is it's going to pull that out um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit to show you what that did. And now I have this really cool document where I have this image um, of this girl and these two guys right beside each other. And that's a really, really neat and quick way to do that. So what if I'm done working and I just want to close this image? Um, I'm done working with it. So there's a neat shortcut. It is Command-W. So I hit Command W, this pops up. I'm not going to save it. Um, so I'm going to press Don't Save. Now, all these other images are open as well. There's also a really great shortcut that helps you to close all the images at once. And it's uh, really, really helpful when you're, when you're done trying to get all the documents off of your Photoshop. Um, and that is 
Option Command W. Now this pops up and it looks similar to the one that popped up when I press Command W, but you have this little button right here that says Apply to All. And let's say I want to save them all, I'd click Save, but I don't, so I'm going to click Don't Save, and you're going to see all those documents disappear from Photoshop. Okay? And I'm totally fresh. Um, so that's how to work with multiple images.